Hey YouTube peeps, what's up? Um, putting the camper away for the season, kind of doing an overview of what we have. Uh, I got a 2019 Ford F-150. It's got the 2.7 liter twin turbo. I believe it's 390 horsepower and 390, 400 foot pounds of torque. Um, it's worked great so far. Haven't had any issues uh, towing this. I believe this is a Puma 27 RBQC. Um, there's the weight rating. I believe it's about 6,000 pounds dry. Um, I'll show you kind of what I did a little bit to the truck. Installed the k &N air filter. Also installed the oil separator. That was the recommendation for every F-150 because the high compression ratio. Installed the bull bar with a light, uh, just for looks. I got the tow package, but not the max tow package. So I had to install a uh, brake controller. This is a Takashi. I ended up getting the wiring harness on Amazon, ran it to the back. It was very easy to install. Works fantastic at this point. I installed a little switch for the light up front. Um, never really use it, but I just always liked it. Installed a uh, camera, dash mounted camera. I live in the litigious society. Uh, always kind of gets me worried, so I put that on there. Um, I installed, I believe they're called Sumo Springs. Uh, they go under the back, above, if you can see them right there. They kind of take a little bit of the bounce away. Um, so far, they've worked really good. It uh, doesn't increase your tow capacity or anything else, but it still works good. I installed a Husky weight distribution hitch. The bars are not on right now as I'm putting it away, but that's worked absolutely fantastic. Makes the truck very level. Um, installed an extra battery just because I had one. Uh, it came with the automatic uh, lift here, which is great. This camper hat came with a lot of options. We bought it in 2020 in February, right before COVID. So we got an absolutely fantastic deal uh, based on what you can get today. It's got the, uh, the levelers which are um, electronic, which are great. Um, go in here. Came with the solid steps, um, which I would have put in if they didn't come with. Takes the bounce out of walking in and out of the trailer. Um, I put in these as well too, one on each side. Uh, they're 5,000 pound, 5, pound manual jacks. Um, it takes the bounce when you're walking in the middle of the trailer. We got quite a bounce in there, so I installed those. Uh, kind of keep some of that away. I also installed the Sumo Springs under in the camper. Um, they're on every axle. They work fantastic. I, I do notice towing. I don't get much of a, a bounce back and forth anymore going up and down. Uh, I installed a uh, lights underneath it just in case I start camping at night. I'll switch right there. Um, light there and then a light by the steps um, in case you pull up at night or anything that's really nice to turn on uh, I came with the outdoor kitchen which is fantastic uh, to use uh, it's got a griddle a sink no drain on the sink uh, but a sink which is great um, and then a small little mini fridge this works well. Grilling hot dogs, burgers, you can keep all the ketchup, everything else outside. Uh, makes it a lot easier. Got another got another stabilizer, automatic stabilizer jack in the back. Extend the track. I uh, installed these. These are so two outdoor extra plugs. So I installed that one. This one uh, was already on. And then I installed one by the door here. Um, we were camping and we kept uh, breakers kept popping because we were using too much. So those are on a completely different. Uh, they're on a completely different uh, fuse. I'm sorry, not fuse. The cord, which I'll show. So you just plug in right here. The cord just runs under the camper. It's not installed in the camper in any way, shape, or form. Uh, and then you get two extra outlets. I do, we do have one slide out. Um, slide out was a must for us. Uh, then there's an outdoor shower, we've which we've never used yet. 
we'll head on in. Uh, family of four, uh, two young children. Uh, this did have a table. We ended up taking it out. Just didn't use the table much. It's just nice to sit around. Nice little love seat. Uh, we opted for the bunk beds. Uh, that was my wife's call, which was a great idea. Uh, we didn't want to fold out a couch every night to put them to bed. So they're big bunk beds, uh, adult size. I think each can fit up to 300 pounds. And they're great for storage when you uh, are driving around towing. Uh, good size bathroom, uh, shower. Uh, I'm about six foot. Uh, it has this little alcove here so you can put your head. It's a tight fit, but it works. Uh, toilet, sink, uh, good size bathroom. Uh, I put the TV in. Didn't come with one. Never use it when you're camping. Uh, fridge, they have the nice stainless steel uh, fridge. That uh, works great. It's not propane. It's just electric, uh, 12 volt. So you can do it while you're driving. Runs off the batteries. Works great. Uh, bedroom, we opted for the separate bedroom. Get a little bit of privacy for the kids sometimes. Uh, it's a camper queen. So smaller than a queen, a little bit bigger than a twin size. Uh, did have these sides so you can get in and out without stepping over each other. Um, nice little fake wood paneling background nice little effects in this camper been happy with it so far uh, that came with it on it uh, we put new blinds i'm sorry new curtains in uh, we're going to replace the rest of them this was the old ones uh, they would get like this and wouldn't stay up so we're replacing them with uh, blinds so we can close them and kind of have blackout curtains the control panel Everything's on there. Uh, been happy with it so far. I've had no problems besides a water leak, small water leak in the bathroom. Took it to the dealership. They fixed it right away. No problem for free because it was still under warranty. Other than that, I've been happy. If you have any questions, um, I'll be happy to attempt to answer them in the comments. I got all my information from towing, camping, everything from YouTube. It was an absolute great help. Uh, People online were fantastic to help me with all my questions I had about towing, what I need, what I could, what I couldn't, how to tow, how to camp, things like that. So um, this is why I'm making the video. I don't make very many, but if I can help somebody, I'll be more than willing to. Thanks so much.